if you are new to the channel then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification okay student welcome you all to this new lecture in intermediate level where you are building concepts on sequence and series so today we will see agp that is arithmetic or geometric series infinite agp and then hp okay then let's see this so the topic is arithmetic or geometric series that is agp so here ap gp both are fixed suppose i take an ap a a plus d a plus 2d and i take a gp 1 r r square you can see this one is ap this one is gp now if you if you get a series of this fashion a a plus d into r a plus 2d into r square a plus 3d into r square then one part of this one suppose if i split this a series although i cannot split it but if you can split it you can see that this is an ap hypothetical i am saying and this is a gp 1 r r square r cube so this is a gp so some portion becomes an ap some portion makes a gp so that is known as agp now here if it is that r is equal to 1 then it will become simple ap the first one it will become a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d if d is 0 then it will become gp a ar ar square ar cube so for agp we are considering that r is not equal to 1 d is not equal to 0 both these things we have considered if this considered then we can proceed because if this becomes then already we have formula then it will become ap or gp then for that we have already formula derived so if these two things are not there then we are deriving that agp now what will be the nth term of G agp you can find it will be mixture of ap gp it is the fourth term it is the third term so the nth term will be n minus 1 into d multiplied by in fourth term it is r cube in nth term it will be r to the power n minus 1 you can see it is as simple as it is a mixture of ap gp now for getting sum suppose sn i have considered this one sum of this now r into sn like your gp you multiply by i and you shift it a little bit to shift it one place in the left hand side so i write a into r this into r square this into r cube so here what was n minus 2 so multiply by n it will be n minus 1 and if you multiply by n if you shift shift one place then this is r to the power n. now if you subtract you can see ar ar square these things will get cancelled so what you left this a and here dr will come here dr square 2 dr square minus dr square similarly dr cube and then the last one a r to the power n minus 1 a r to the power n minus 1 will get cancel and if you deduct it, this two there will be only one d between these two d r to the power n minus 1 and last one remains as it is so now let me divide it later what do you think if you take d common then it will be d r r square r to the power n or you think of this is an ap which first term is dr so uh, sorry it is a gp which first term is dr and it is common ratio is r so what is the summation dr 1 minus r to the power how many terms are there from 1 to n minus 1 forget about this from here to here i am talking about so number of turn is n minus 1 so r to the power n minus 1 divided by 1 minus r and one more 1 minus r will come from this side that's why it becomes square and here 1 minus r similarly this will come here this divided by 1 minus r from that side now if you split it it will be dr by this and if you product this take this product then it will be dr to the power n so final formula becomes this sum of an agp a by r that is of infinite gp format dr by 1 plus n is r square you remember this one 1 minus r 1 minus r square will be there two inside and then last two will be 1 minus r this one will be infinite gp last one will be something ap and in between that one two should be r to the power n should be there two minus should be there two plus you have to write it little one or more two times then you will under, you will can remember this one minus this one a plus n minus 1 a plus will be there we correct it a plus n minus 1 into d to the power r, r to the power n divided by 1 so this is the summation for agp now if your agp series becomes infinite that is infinite agp series and your mod r is less than 1 like your gp we discussed if it becomes mod r is less than 1 then if you proceed these terms if your if your r is a fraction then if you take powers of r it will be more or less it will be going lesser and lesser and lesser so if you increase more and more the power of r you will get less value that is zero so if you go n tends to infinity then finally somewhere you will get r to the power n is equal to zero that means that terms will be zero that sum will not be affected now so you can get a sum now it will convert somewhere because after some time the values are coming very 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 small which is not affecting your sn so whatever sn you got accumulated till now sum that remains same that is not changing so much so your sn this was the original formula now if you change your n to infinity these r to the power n will become zero so this term this term get cancelled so this becomes your formula for s infinity 
you can correlate with gp infinity then a little portion of this one but it should it is applicable if your mod r r should be a fraction either positive or negative okay the next series is harmonic series which is already you have seen that is reciprocal of ap suppose this series will be in hp if i say this series in hp or this is the terms of an harmonic progression then one by this reciprocal of each term will form an ap will form a series which involves the terms of ap so hp can be called a reciprocal of ap so tn formula will be 1 by n minus a into n minus 1 into d of ap but this a and d are not this a this d is not this minus this this a will be this one the corresponding ap because where a is the first term of the corresponding ap not that original hp the first term is not the first term if the first term will be reciprocal of this one and common difference will be difference between these two not difference between these two because this is the formula for ap these are not in ap so you have to first make it ap then you apply the formula and if you take reverse then you whatever term you are getting that is the term for h if you take the reverse of that one but you cannot reciprocal the sum because 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 you cannot say 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 you cannot say if you take reciprocal it will be 2 plus 3 no you cannot do this one so for reciprocal it is not possible so if a b c are in hp if suppose three numbers are in ap H, hp then we say 1 by a 1 by b 1 by c are in ap then what is the meaning of this one if three numbers are in ap we have seen 2 b equal to a plus c so 2 of middle term is equal to first term plus last term which means b equal to 2 ac by a plus c so this is the condition if a b c are in hp or reverse also you can see if this happens then they are in hp if you like the video then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section